Thanks for continuing to watch 12PM Tutorials. Today's tutorial is going to teach you to use a tool that protects your privacy online by making it difficult for websites and online snoopers to find out your information. This tool is called Tor. In addition to ensuring your privacy, Tor makes it possible for you to view information online that may be restricted in your area. Tor works by routing your connection and information through a system of randomly selected relays before it ever reaches the internet. This ensures that your information is next to impossible to obtain by people you don't want to have it. Now that you know how Tor works, let's go get the software. Open up a web browser and go to www.torproject.org. Go ahead and look around Tor's website a little before we continue. Now click Download. Here, you can download versions for Windows, Mac, and Linux. Click on Installation Bundle for Windows and save the file to your computer. Once the file finishes downloading, go to where you saved it and double-click the file. The Installation program will ask you to choose a language from the drop-down menu. Choose your language and then click OK. Click Next. The programs listed here are what Tor uses to run its service. You can get an idea of what each program does by running your mouse over it. The only program here that we have to mention is the Tor button. If you are using Firefox as your web browser, Tor will want to install the Tor button for Firefox while the regular installation is happening. OK, click Next. Now choose where you would like to install the program. Once the installation is complete, it will ask you to install the Tor button for Firefox. I'm going to agree to install that now, and then I'm going to click Restart Firefox. Now, if you look down here in the lower right-hand corner of your browser, you'll see the Tor button. We'll come back to this later. For now, go back to the installation wizard and click Next. Tor will ask you if you want to run the installed components now, but I prefer to run it manually. Now, go to Start, Programs, Vidalia Bundle, and Open Vidalia. This launches the user interface and allows Tor to start connecting to the service. It can take a moment or two for Tor to connect, so let me tell you about the different buttons you see here. Stop Tor will disconnect you from the service. Setup Relaying gives you the opportunity to use your computer as part of Tor's relay network. Use a new identity will route you through the relay network in a new way. View the network will allow you to see the different connections. Settings allows you to configure a couple of different options for Tor. Once you see the green onion, you know you have successfully connected to the Tor network. Speaking of the green onion, if you look down here in your taskbar, you'll see a green onion icon. You can right-click the icon, and it gives you the same options as you have in the user interface. Now, we're going to go back to our web browser. Look at the Tor browser button. It's still disabled. We're connected to the Tor network, but we haven't turned on the service in Firefox yet. Go ahead and click the button. If it now says Tor enabled, then you are successfully using Firefox with the Tor service. Want to check to make sure that Tor service is working? Go ahead and disable Tor again by clicking on the button. Now go to www.checkip.org. This is my unprotected IP address. Now, I'm going to go to www.google.com, switch the service back on by pressing the button, and then go back to www.checkip.org. Well, that definitely looks different from my real IP address. Now you know how to install and use Tor.